one hour online workshop as a webinar, that works quite well. But running a workshop online for a whole day, <laughs> can that also work? In this video, I will show you the setup I use for my online workshops and my three tips on what you should definitely pay attention to. Stay tuned. For more leadership advice, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Online learning and online workshops have been around for a long time. I started my online leadership platform in 2014. I support the members online with uh, videos, for example, similar to those that I publish here on YouTube. I do the production myself in my tool cellar using a green screen and a teleprompter. Was machen Sie als Führungskraft, wenn Ihr Mitarbeiter keine Ziele vereinbart? At least once a month I also do a one hour webinar, a kind of online workshop for my members. As a leadership trainer I have already some years of experience with online learning with both video and online workshops. When I do my 12-month executive program for companies, I call it leadership change, almost everything happens online. So I use webinars, uh, videos, one-on-one -on -one video coaching um, and all this kind of nice stuff which works online. But there is or I have to say, uh, there was always an exception. I mean, it's cool to train online and moderate and it works very well, but I was convinced that a workshop that lasts all day cannot or should not be carried out online. A webinar over one hour, okay, but sitting in front of the computer all day for a one day online workshop, isn't that too boring? What, what about the interaction? Wouldn't the participants get bored if they stare at the screen all day? Do they really concentrate on what happens on the screen or are they distracted? Distracted by other things like do they read their emails or do they work on other projects at the same time? That's why I've always done one day workshops as a face to face workshop, either in conference hotels or on site at my clients. Due to the Corona crisis and the home office regulations, I've recently been forced to run these workshops online. And what can I say? It works. And it actually works very well. Over the past few weeks, I have really learned something new about it. And I changed my mind. A one day online workshop really works. Let me show you my setup for such a one day online workshop. Here you can see how I run such a workshop in my home office. I use two cameras and two screens. Here I'm currently working on a flip chart. I can look into the camera, but I can also see all participants on the screen at the same time. So I can also interact with the participants very much like I would do in a real world workshop. Participants can ask questions or make comments at any time. And I listen and speak to the participants using this uh, AirPods. I also like to sit at my desk using the computer. I love variety. With my computer, I can also talk to the participants or give a short PowerPoint presentation or show a video. Here you can see the screen that the participants see in the workshop. I use Zoom for video meetings. I particularly like the breakout room function. It's a great way to work in small groups. These breakout rooms are separate video meeting sessions. With this, you can divide, say, 12 participants into three or four groups, and then they can work in separate session rooms in case they have to work on a task for, let's say, 12, 12 or 15 or 20 minutes, for instance. As, as a meeting host, I can easily switch between sessions at any time and support them if necessary. So what's important if you want to run a full day workshop? First, it should never be boring. 
It's my job as a trainer and moderator that all participants experience the workshop as beneficial and exciting, if possible, the entire time. If I can do that, if I really can do that, the participants will not be distracted. Then they won't be tempted to read their emails or something like that. That's why I try to add a lot of interaction and to switch between different types of presentation and communication forms. Times for question, Q&A, discussions, group work, but also short videos, short presentations with PowerPoint or using a flip chart. Combination and variation is king. Some of my colleagues like to use webinar tools, um, iPad or the Zoom whiteboard, for example. That all makes sense. And it they are great tools, but I don't like it that way. I like just to use an analog flip chart. A, I think because I'm used to it, and B, because I have to move around. You really, I, I really like to walk around. It's crucial that the technique and the tools that you use as a trainer have to suit you. I have to feel comfortable with it. And then I come across in a good way and can help my participants best because it doesn't get boring and they aren't distracted by technology. Second, how to use technology. Your success depends on the right technology. And at the same time, it doesn't. Huh? What do I mean? It's important that the trainer knows how to use technology, that he delivers his message well, that he can moderate it well, and that plain and simple the communication works. As a trainer, I have to master the technology I'm using and it has to suit my needs. And good audio quality is very important. Nice videos are important too, but in doubt, audio quality is always more important than video quality. Audio, audio quality, quality is, is always more, more important than video quality. Whether you use Zoom for online workshops or Microsoft Teams or whatever, that's a matter of personal preference. My setup, using two cameras and Zoom, that works very well for me. I got used to it and it's okay for me. I think everyone must try what works best for them. If you are interested in my current setup, I have listed it in the show notes below this video. There you can look up which hardware and software I use. Number three, breaks are most important. Enough breaks are decisive in face-to-face -face workshops as well. But this applies even more to online workshops. I had good experiences with one-hour sessions followed by a 30-minute coffee break and, of course, a one-hour break for lunch. You can switch off your camera and audio during the breaks, uh, put a nice picture on the screen and leave the meeting room open so that the participants can exchange ideas or just talk with each other if they wish during the breaks. If you are interested in online leadership training for your team, please get in touch with me. My email info at berndgerob.de Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.